Hello and welcome to another video. The cause for making this video is that somebody asked me how to find the first Monday of the next month. So we're going to play around a little bit with date functions in Power Query to see how we can manage that. So the main goal of this video is to just show how you can play around with date functions because you might be able to adapt this to any exercise that you're doing. But the idea for the exercise here was there was a company who for each customer that did their first purchase gave them a reward on the next Monday of the, of the next month. So how can you get in Power Query the next Monday, the first Monday in the next month? Let's get into that. So this is the data set and it's mostly the date that's important. And to make things easy, let's just put the reselect it. You click on date. And if you go to day, there is something called name of day. We're just going to add this now. So we actually have an idea of what day we're looking at. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is play around with these functions a little bit. So we're going to add a new column and we're going for a day. Uh, actually a month here. We're going to want to see the end of the month. That's already helping something towards our goal to get to the next month. So we already know that this is the end of the current month of this uh, date right here. And we're going to adjust this a little bit. So first of all, this, this is where we're right at right now. And if we add a single date to this, we always know that we're at the first day of the new month. So you could go something like date at days. A very easy function that allows you to add a number of days to the to the date that you already have. So I just write that we add a single day, and this makes that we are at the uh, the first of the next month. For ease of use, I'm just going to split this into some new lines. Once we have all of this, what's left for us is to find the first Monday that's coming out, and to get there, there's an easy trick that I want to share with you. Um, I'm going to do something separate first. We're going to adjust the, the formula later, but there is something that says date end of week. And if I would base this on, let, let's pick the first purchase for now, because we still have the date here, the, the day name. So I have my function right here and I just need to remove this so that it's correct. So here we have an end of a week. If I press OK here, it's going to base this end of week on the date right there. And let's just have a quick look on what day that is, just so you know. So by default, Power Query says that Sunday is the end of the week. Now we can adjust that. So for example, in this formula here, we could say the end of the week is on the Tuesday. And you can do that by opening the optional argument, the second argument of date dot end of week. You can write day Tuesday here. And before I click the end of the week, if the start of the week is on Tuesday is of course on Monday. So the dates here change. And if I go here, we now know that this date right here is, uh, is actually always a Monday. And exactly this is what can help us out there. So knowing this, I'm going to remove all of these, uh, these steps right there. And we're going to use that to adjust this formula here. So what's left, what, what was already here was the first of the month. And now what's left for us to add is the formula that we just had, which is date end of week, open parenthesis. And if we then add day dot Tuesday, close parenthesis, then based on the first of the month, it will look when that next Monday is. So if we now again add a date, day and the day name, we can verify this. So first, the, the, we got to the first of, uh, of July. It seems that the 7th of July is a Monday. The 2nd of June is a Monday. So even though the formula here looks quite complex, we took each of these steps to build it up. And as you can see, with this, you can quite relatively easily make your formulas to fit your, uh, well, in this case, it was a marketing need for, for some reward that your customers got. So how was that? Did you learn anything new? 
This was just to show how versatile Power Query is, and you can just use your formulas on top of each other and adjust it to the way that you like. Hopefully this helped you. Like the video if it did, and I hope to see you in the next video.